Hey, here's another question just came in. Hey, Mike, I'm excited about the real estate investing. I like it a lot. What type of real estate do you recommend that I go into? Again, it depends, right? What's your age and what's your goal? If you're 69 years old and you say, I've got to make a certain amount of money and I've got, I believe, two to three, four, five years to make it, then you're going to have to work with bigger chunks of money. If you're 29 years old and you can, you can afford to gamble, you know, roll the dice and let it ride for 30 years, that's, those are totally different types of, of investing. Is either one wrong? No, it's just a different type of thing. So what is your goal? There's a buy, what is a buy and hold investor? A buy and hold investor is somebody who simply does what it sounds like. They buy a house, they hold it, you become a landlord. The problem with that is, like recently we had some freezing temperatures here in our area. And I got a call one night about 11 o'clock, hey, my furnace went out. And I don't know if you've ever tried to get somebody to fix a furnace, but you start making phone calls at 11 o'clock at night, on I think it was a Saturday night, it was zero weather, it drives you crazy. Now. The difference, that's what happens when you're a landlord, right? If you're selling a house on terms where you are the, uh, you become the bank, guess what? They don't call First Federal or Premier Bank or First National or Bank of America if your furnace goes out, do you? Heck no, that's the bank. You, as the owner, you call your own HVAC repairman. So again, you need to know what is your goal, what is your focus, how much time do you have, and how much money do you have to work with? Maybe you're broke and don't have any money. I've been there. Maybe you've got buckets of money and you're willing to put some money into yourself. So this is Mike saying, hey, you've got to determine your goals before you know which way to go.